Hello and welcome to How to Read a Metric Micrometer. The first part of this video we are going to discuss the parts and functions of a metric micrometer. Second part of the video we are going to go through practical examples of measuring. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so what we have here is a metric flange mic 20 millimeter to 45 millimeter. Let's look at the parts. So what we have here is we have our ratchet stop. I also like to call it the cowbell. We have our thimble. We have our thimble graduations. We have our sleeve. We have our sleeve graduations. This micrometer doesn't have the vernier scale on it. <clears throat> Let's move on down here. We have our spindle lock. It's a little different. You guys are used to seeing the one that slides back and forth here. This one just basically turns like this. We have our spindle. We have our anvils. In this case, there's two anvils on this guy. <clears throat> to take the spindle out, I have to remove the anvil. And they are set perfectly, so I'm not going to be removing it in this case. And we also have our frame. So let's zoom in a little bit here. Put that down. Okay, so let's take a look here. Along this side are millimeters. So from here to here is a millimeter, from here to here is a millimeter. You know, we got five, we got 10, we got 11 and some. Along the back side, what we have is a half millimeter. So when I have right there, that's zero, zero. So this guy here, what I would do to calibrate, oops. What I would do in this case to calibrate this is I would put a 20 millimeter gauge block in, tighten it down, and hopefully it would read zero. So now for every one revolution, I'm going to remove every, sorry, not one revolution, for every number on this dial is 0 0.01 millimeter. So in this case, as I backed it up, that would be 0 0.05 millimeter all the way up to, in this case, 50. And if you see on the long, along the back side here, <clears throat> tilt it a bit more, you can see that the 50 line shows. So as I go across here, that would be one millimeter. So let's say I was right about here someplace. What we have is we have one millimeter, two millimeters, three millimeters, so that would be 3.30, because that's at 30. Let's take this guy out of here. Okay, how do I hold a micrometer? Same as all my other videos, my pinky goes inside of here, my other fingers go along here, and I have firm grip rotation. Something else I want to point out is let's go to 10 millimeter, let's go to 5 millimeter here, okay? This is not, because this is a 20, oops, 20 to 45, this measurement right here is not 5 millimeters because that's not 5 millimeters. It would be 25 millimeters. So whatever this distance is, plus this, and it could be 100, it could be even 200 or 300 large, really large micrometers. You have to add this number on to this number as well. In this example, we are going to add the actual size of the micrometer in. So this micrometer here is a 20 to 45 millimeter micrometer. So this zero here is not really zero, it's actually 20 millimeter. So we're going to say 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 millimeters. So we're going to go 25 millimeter. Then we're going to add 
or 20 plus or 1. So it's going to be 21. So 0 0.21. So it's 25.21 millimeter reading on this. So what we have is 1 millimeter, 2 millimeter, and right here is a half millimeter. We can see that line there. Okay, so we are at 2.5 millimeters. We are at 0, 5, 10, 15, 16. So we got 16 millimeters here. We're not quite at the 17. So it's going to be, we are at the 0 0.5. 0 0.5. And we are at the 45, 0.45, so it's 16.95 millimeter. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 millimeter. And we can see that we're at the 5 mark. There's no 50 mark here. 0 0.05. So it's 25.05 millimeter. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. In the description below, there is a link to some worksheets with answer keys as well. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Have a good day.